I mean, the issue isn't self-sufficiency. The United States produces slightly more oil than we consume. We export uh, more oil than we import, but oil is still a global price. And so something that happens anywhere in the world will raise the price of US oil, no matter how much oil we make and no matter how little um, we have. So the first thing is um, it's not self-sufficiency. Now, do we wanna increase US production? Maybe, um, there's a set of considerations around the environment. There's also a set of considerations around price. Um, if we wanna do that, um, there's some things maybe they could do using the Defense Production Act, um, but you know, mostly what they would need to do is one, um, sort of drop some of the environmental limitations they've made on production. I actually don't think they're that big a deal. I don't think they've raised global prices that much, but if you wanna help a little bit, you could do that. Um, and then you could go one step further, uh, which I wouldn't advocate and say, you know, we'll guarantee you we're gonna buy your oil at blank dollars a barrel, um, $80 a barrel. Now, chances are a guarantee like that wouldn't get exercised because the price is above it. But if the price falls a lot, that would be valuable. That might convince some frackers to continue to frack. And that basically is what we did um, with the vaccines. We offered to buy it at a certain price. So if we wanna give money to the oil companies, um, we can get them to produce more absent that. Um, we don't have a lot of other tools.